Hi Gemini, this is Sean from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome to the Gemini for the 13th to the 19th of April and I hope you will enjoy it. Um, at the end of this week I will go live for every zodiac sign and discuss the reading. And what do I mean by discuss? Well, I'm going to ask you questions like uh, what stood out uh, in the reading to you? Did it resonate with you? Um, if it doesn't resonate with you because it's a general reading, uh, did you go to the uh, moon sign or the rising sign? Did that resonate more with you? What do you think from the re what do you think about the reading? What would inspire you um, to come back much quicker or much more often? Do you have any suggestions? Have you got ideas? Uh, do you like me using different decks? Things like that. Or um, do you have questions? See what you have. So please take a pen and paper whilst we're um, sitting down watch it, when you're watching the reading or watch the reading and then go back to the reading and see whether you can think of suggestions or any questions with regarding the reading. Um, or I might uh, I might uh, come back and say in the live discussion uh, for Gemini, uh, which, who is your favourite angel? Do you meditate? Things like that. So I hope I do motivate everybody to uh, come in at the end of the week because I'm going to start on Friday because then most of the week uh, will be passed and then you can see whether the beginning of the week, things from the beginning of the week or Wednesday or the general uh, cards for the all over energy resonates with you. And after the discussion and question time, um, then I'll be here to uh, answer any personal questions. So the questions in the discussion is mainly about just the reading. What do you think? Have you got any questions? And if you've got a private question, then uh, I can give you a small reading in the live session with three car uh, tarot or Lenormand cards and an oracle card. So if it's a love question, then I most probably will use uh, the romance oracle deck or um, I'm, I'll just see how it goes and what they are telling me to instruct on um, what reading I'll give to you. But if you would like an extended reading, then you can find the message below the video and up in the right hand corner you will see a white dot with an eye which will if you click on that which will take you to the website and you can see the different readings that are on offer there i hope everybody will be motivated or uh, like this idea because i would love to interact with all my cyber angels um, more often and if you are new, welcome to the channel and please subs uh, subscribe, hit the subscribe button and the bell and click on all um, because there's three choices, private, none or all, then you'll be notified when I go live or when there are new videos. Now there are issues in YouTube and with YouTube because they only work with a skeleton I mean a skeleton, only a few people and they are working from home. So um, this is the news that we got in Creator Systems that the people are working from home and they have uh, dispersed different computers to their houses, but they cannot, um, uh, they cannot use the whole system. So that's why everything is delayed and that's why cre uh, creators are cringing <laughs> because of course once we've done so much work um, we want our videos to be perfect and out there so that's most probably the clinch why I'm losing um, uh, audio sound or sound and I'm trying to do this for the third time now so I hope you enjoy the reading let's go to your reading take care stay safe and remember you're not alone and I love you Right, so this is the layout that I had for you. Um, uh, so you can check this out with the video. I'm leaving the video out there, the original, 
um, so you can always go back and click on Gemini and then you can see uh, in the chat what I have written and I do hope to see you on a Friday uh, I think it will uh, I will do um, six on Friday I'll try to do as many as I can but I won't be going out live on Friday for free cards because I'm doing uh, the discussions and the live sessions so um, I'll see how I feel and how I how many I can do whether it all depends also whether people will react and come into the live sessions and take part um, by asking uh, questions or giving suggestions okay jimmy jim gems here we go um you for the first card you have the seven of pentacles now the seven of pentacles um that is what you sow you shall uh, reap that's basically um the meaning the quick basic meaning now I'm, I always try to tell my uh, querent or tell you uh, in the reading, these general readings, a little bit more about a card and what my intuition is saying. But, um, I think this could be that seven months ago, seven weeks ago, you might have uh, started something or planted seeds or put an idea into motion. And you uh, and you've been nurturing this idea, man by manifesting, visualizing things like that. And that is, could be a question of yours. How can you manifest? How can you materialize? Um, and I can go deeper into that in the discussion, for example. So just remember, those are kind of uh, questions that you can ask. But you have been waiting and. You know, time dot has to pass before it comes to fruition, uh, the, uh, the seed that you've planted. It will take time. When it uh, grows and blossoms, then you can pick the fruit. Like this man, he's been waiting and he's looking, looking that way. He's looking into the past. And that could be the, the, the past tense because you've already sown your seeds. Now the seeds have come to fruition, I think, this week. It could be Monday and it could be Wednesday because both Monday you have the four of rods. That means weddings. That's the basic meaning. Or celebrations. There will be celebrations on Monday. And that was yesterday, obviously, because that was Easter Monday. And so it could be also extended into today because like me, perhaps you might be muddled, muddled up with the time. It feels more like a Monday today. So it could also, the energy could also go across to Tuesday. You might be getting married on Monday or you might be going to a wedding on uh, on Monday. But with the lockdown, um, the, the wedding might be cancelled. But there will be celebrations like with the family at Easter. But perhaps you might be getting an invitation that the date has been reset like i said something is being sown so perhaps uh, it, there was already a, a, a wedding date set for monday but now you're getting news that it has been changed to another date so perhaps you are deciding to change the, the date of the wedding but with these celebrations that means that there are gatherings so if you if you meet people, you might make new friendships and these new friendships will be built on proper foundations because the four of rods uh, are like the four corners of a house and a house needs foundations and this card means proper and sound foundations. So any friendships or relationships that uh, you are making with this gathering or celebration and you meet people, um, will be built on proper foundations these friendships will be turning out to be um, good ones it's also on wednesday you have the four of ones and that is in the career morgan and career deck that's what it looks like and of course you might have bought a house on monday or you will be or wednesday because look the castle and what is the same your a uh, castle is your home or your home is your castle. 
So you might be buying a new home and that is what you're celebrating or you might have got a new um, property that you're renting. So that, that could be celebration. You could be, you could have been planning um, to, um, or you've sown the seeds that you want to move home and that you've been looking for a home and boom, you've got it. So you might be moving home on Wednesday or there might be a wedding or a gathering or some kind of celebration on Wednesday. Now underneath this four of rods you have the king of pentacles. The king of pentacles, um, he knows how to invest and he also, uh, um, he, he knows this by uh, um, Oh gosh, he knows this because he's learned this, he's been doing this for ages and ages. He has not reached this mature status for nothing. He has learned it and he knows how to invest. So if you are dabbling in stock market or in uh, investments, perhaps in, 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 um, in properties, then you might see your return uh, this week. Um, as the king of pentacles, he also represents Taurus, so you might be getting married to a Taurus or you might be planning to get married to a Taurus. Uh, he represents the Taurus, so, but don't exclude the other earth signs, but the king of pentacles is Taurus. Um, as the queen is Virgo and Capricorn uh, is the page of pentacles but we've got the king of pentacles here so you might know how to invest and you've invested in property and it's all you've sold it so you might be celebrating that or you might be moving in with a taurus or a capricorn or a virgo don't exclude uh, the other earth signs but you um might be if you're not hooked up then you might be meeting a taurus or an earth sign it's definitely a, a, a time um, that you could be meeting a lot of people that will bring in the bucks, as they say, and that will bring in the money. This reading to me is more of a business reading rather than a love reading. On Friday, you have the Knight of Rods. The Knight of Rods is also an other indication that you might be moving home. And it will be uh, pretty swiftly that you are moving home. So I think this week a lot of you might be moving home. Although there is a lockdown, I think you will be moving home uh, because they are easing up in some countries. If not, that it might be postponed um, until a later date, like I said. The seats are there and um, there might be legalities with regards to moving home because we've got the card of justice and justice also represents Libra. So you could be meeting a, a Taurus, a Libra, um, but if you are, um, this could also, justice could also mean institutions and municipalities so that you might be signing contracts on Friday to get married. Perhaps you might be marrying on Friday. Um, perhaps you might be signing contracts because you bought a house. So there will be celebrations big time Gemini this week. Now, um, justice, if you might not be getting married in a church because the canopy is outside. So for some of you, this might resonate that you are marrying outside, outside your belief, outside uh, in the fresh air, under a canopy or at a beach instead of the church. This could be the registry office, as you well can understand what I'm trying to get at. For those that are getting married, you might not get married in a church and you might make up an agreement. Uh, uh, we call it a living together agreement in Holland. That is that you are signing a contract that you are, are officially living together. This could have uh, um, positive aspects um, to tax, uh, the tax returns, etc., etc., insurances and name you name it, and uh, uh, 
yeah well, that's the only couple of things that I can think about you can uh, you can to, together you can pay the electricity bill the mortgage things like that so there are things the advantage advantages to be living together besides loving each other and um, uh, forming a unit so even by these few cards you can get a lot of information i usually use the nine card um the nine cards uh spread but i love doing this spread um and again the last card that is the weekend you have temperance perhaps you are trying to balance things perhaps you have already bought this house and you've been celebrating but because of the lockdown you can't move so perhaps you have to uh, and the house is waiting because the, the the papers are signed and it uh, you know you have to pay double rent that could be the, the the same thing as well how can you manage paying this double rent so you're trying to balance your heart and your mind or your heart and your soul or perhaps between one house and the other or perhaps between your work and your uh, family unit uh, your family home between family home and your work anyway there is money is quite a big uh, issue uh, this week um, as you, some of you might have started a new job or you got a new job or you might have had a promotion and that's why you had to have to move home uh, because of this new job or this promotion and because you can't move at this Point, there are delays but there is also uh, legalities or judicial factors law um, um, playing a quite important uh, piece of the, the situation perhaps you might have to pay double rent and you can't afford it and then you have to go back to your new boss or your former boss uh, can I have my wages now uh, trying to find a, a, a legal a legal loophole so that you can work because you are an important uh, employee for this firm so perhaps legally you are allowed to move home from one state to another state or from one city to another city uh, there is a lot of possibilities and I know this is a general reading but in um, a personal reading I could pinpoint it down much more because I'm just reading for one person and not for thousands but this could be at hand legalities like uh, I know that in some countries like Australia Canada America you need points um, to get to immigrate to these countries and to move these countries so perhaps somebody from the states might be moving to canada and you are very important you're a necessity like nurses doctors so you might be allowed to move uh, home uh, in this case because legally binding you need to because you need to be there you you cannot stay away this is something that I'm just getting from this reading it will not apply to all of you just to some of you but like I said this is a general reading so you have to think of uh, different uh, possibilities but the ace of pentacles means that there is a new beginning this could be a promotion this could be a job but this could be also a house because it is something that you can touch its material it is it is durable and it, it the house will be there longer than you for long term you can stay in this house now we've also got the page of pentacles and that like i said the page of pentacles is capricorn so there could be a news come there's definitely news coming to you um um, this could be news about money, it could be about a move, it could be about a new job, anything that is durable and for long term, perhaps an investment. But like I said, don't exclude any other earth signs, but uh, the prominent one is Capricorn, but don't forget Taurus or Virgo. Okay, my darlings, it could also come from a youngish person. 
Then that's the overall energy and the overall energy for the uh, Hanson Roberts deck. That's the deck that clarifies the cards above. Is the six of rods and the six of rods here? You can see the um, uh, the wreath of uh, the winner, the champion, and the olive uh, leaves, I think they are called, or eucalyptus leaves, and he's also wearing a wreath on his head because he's got victory. You're moving onwards and upwards. You've got public recognition. So perhaps with this public recognition, uh, a potential employer saw you from the distance. This could be the Taurus, this could be the Libra, or uh, the Sagittarius or the Capricorn person and they asked you, you know, they offered you a job or a promotion. So good things are happening to you Gemini and also around you. You have victory and you are in the spotlight big time. You are somebody's hero or heroine. You, and this card also means moving on, traveling, going on holiday, or even moving home. That was the reading so far, my darling. And now we're going on to the Romance uh, Angel Oracle deck. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Like I said, you might be meeting somebody and it is safe for you to love. Perhaps you had somebody in mind, which could be a Taurus, a Libra, a Sagittarius or a Capricorn, and you sowed the seeds before. Like you went, you met, you went out to a wedding perhaps, uh, you were at a wedding or a celebration and you met them and you've planted the seeds, boom, and it's coming. It's telling you it is safe for you to love. So open your heart. Um, and your solar plex and let love and joy come in. It is the perfect timing at this moment to start a new relationship. Okay, make cyber contact, make whatever you can do, stay in contact because you've got news flying around everywhere. Perhaps this is also telling you, um, why don't you pick up the phone and send out news, get connected. Okay, the Archangel that I, I'm giving you or asking, uh, I'm asking the Archangel to be with you is Archangel Gabriel and it means creative writing. Well, you are absolutely in your element with communication, Gemini, that it belongs to you and, your, and wisdom. You, uh, the Geminis stand for wisdom and communication, let it be in talking or writing. But perhaps it is the perfect time to write a book or an article. I'm going to translate this. So Archangel Gabriel is, says, make time free uh, to make your, put down your new ideas in a diary. Note what you, new ideas are coming into you whilst you're meditating or uh, contemplating and evaluating these new ideas you might be able to use for an article in a magazine or a newspaper at a later date, or perhaps for a book. It is also a, a quite a message. If you note this down, what is happening to you at this moment, at a later time when you have got married and you have got a family or when, uh, when the time is past this issue, this difficult time, then you might have written a beautiful article or a book on how to, how this time was and how you coped. It could be very interesting for other people. Other, pardon me, other people can learn from your experiences and your ideas. So communicate with the world. Go out there, put yourself out there and you know, put your ideas out there. You're a great communicator, Jim, so don't be shy, okay? Open your heart to beautiful new things. I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Stay safe, and I hope to see you uh, on Friday or Saturday when I go live. Please subscribe, 
and hit that bell on all and please share with family and friends and sorry about the inconvenience. Love you all, Gemini's. Take care. Bye bye, Jimmy Jims. Love Cyber Mom. Ciao, ciao.